and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UA TV. In less than two weeks, a new movie will be released in Ukrainian movie theaters. It is called Bobbit and the Energy of Universe, and the media specializing in movie reviews are still not sure how to classify it. Some call it the film children fantasy drama, while others characterize it as Ukrainian sci fi. To talk more about the movie, we we'll welcome in our studio today Valery Simonchuk. He is a film producer. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello, pleasure. So how did you come up with the, with the idea for such a movie that cannot, still cannot <laughs> be characterized? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a long story. Uh, firstly, the idea uh, uh, started when uh, Max Ksionda, the director of the film, and Alexei Maskalenka, the main producer and mm -hmm. VFX supervisor, were making a, uh, a clip for uh, TNMK, music mm -hmm, band, mm -hmm. and they had an idea that a, a transformer box mm. uh, that we see all over our country comes to life and becomes a character in itself. So the idea started with a character. Mm -hmm. And these transformer boxes are anthropomorphic in themselves, so it was easier to imagine it walking. And after the music video came out, uh, the creative team decided that this character deserves a story. Mm -hmm. So this is how the, uh, the, so the story the was story? conceived. What's the so story? The what's the plot? The plot follows a 12-year-old uh, boy, uh, Vadik, who is um, uh, a dreamer and he uh, loves telling fantastic stories mm -hmm. to his uh, summer camp friends, mm -hmm. uh, mainly about his cor uh, courage, mm -hmm. although uh, Vadik is a bit of a coward himself. And these st stories inadvertently lead him to to some trouble. And uh, so once he, uh, he becomes uh, entangled in a conflict between two alien forces, there are, there are aliens who pretend to be garbage disposal people and they have been living on Earth for many years mm -hmm. and they decided to switch off a defense shield that defends the Earth against the uh, sun's radiation. Mm -hmm. And uh, now Vadek, against his will, has to become a hero and see whether he has this inside of him mm -hmm. and whether he has real courage and decisiveness. What you call uh, what you call the plot that you've just described? Mm. It's it's like the kid's alter ego. You've mm. just mentioned that he was a cover uh, the coward in real life. That maybe mm. he wanted to be more brave, so mm. that's why he was telling these stories. Well, probably that a lot of us uh, try to cover in insecurities up. And uh, I think the what's interesting about about this story is that a lot of people can relate to it, and do hope that uh, eventually. The boy does does find it in himself, as we all mm -hmm. want to find. How long did it take you to cast the actors? It was quite a long process. Uh, there were a lot of uh, children who were who were being uh, who were being seen, uh, but the the main the actor who plays the main character. Uh, Viktor Grigoriev was cast uh, before we even started shooting the film because we had to make a teaser mm -hmm. for the Ukrainian State Film Agency. Mm -hmm. And he was the only kid who then migrated into the feature film after uh -huh. the teaser. How old is the main character? The main character is 12 years old. And how old is the actor? Well, the actor was about the same age, but because the shooting took uh, about a year, Mm -hmm. Sort of, uh, he, he he grew a bit as well. The okay. problem with teenagers when when shooting <laughs> when shooting films, they grow really quickly. Okay, what's the brightest moment from from the um, shooting? Yeah, from the shooting, you could outline. Uh, you could share. Well, well, I can remember two. First of all, we oh, we had two shooting periods. One was in 2016. Mm -hmm. We shot from August till mid autumn, and. Uh, and uh, it was supposed to be a summer camp. And then when we are shooting and there are children and uh, children in shorts, uh, we can see snow falling down <laughs> because it was a really early winter. Uh -huh. And then we have a summer camp, sunshine and snow. Mm. And that's why we had to move some to exterior through. shootings for the, for the next summer. Mm -hmm. The other one I remember is when we were shooting in the field and we were shooting Bobot. It was... Uh, uh, it was a stunt, stunt person in a costume, mm -hmm. standing as a transformer booth in the middle of a field, and there is a car passing by. And at some point, the stuntman decided to scratch his head, 
and the person who was uh, passing by in a car uh, uh, has saw an electric transformer box starting to move and mm -hmm. he just floored the acceleration pedal and just went off. Oh, that is so interesting, but mm -hmm. unfortunately you cannot see it through the movie, but what we can see right Indeed. now is the trailer of the movie. Let's watch. That's quite interesting. Who took part in the financing of your movie? Well, uh, the financing was split in half. Mm -hmm. uh, half of the budget was provided by the Ukrainian State Film Agency and half uh, came from uh, private uh, investments. So, How big was the budget? Oof, that's the question. The, the uh, total budget was uh, uh, 20 million hryvnias and mm -hmm. was split between the state and the, and the private investment. Mm -hmm. uh, after the movie mm -hmm. is screened in uh, Ukrainian theaters, what happens next? Uh, well, next it will travel the world. Uh, we currently have a Danish international sales agent called mm -hmm. Level K, mm -hmm. and they're handling the sales of the film and representing the film worldwide. Mm -hmm. And uh, firstly, we plan for the film to be shown in many uh, children's and sci-fi festivals around the world, the niche festivals, and uh, in September it will be uh, it will be presenting at the Toronto uh, Film Market. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to get any awards? Any awards? Are you looking well, forward? Yeah, to? We will definitely looking forward to that, and I think it's a quite a high quality film, even by international standards, mm -hmm. both visually and in terms of storytelling. Mm -hmm. So we do hope. Okay. To get some. At the beginning of the conversation, you mentioned that the whole story of the movie started from the shooting of um, a video mm -hmm. for a TNMK uh, mm -hmm. band. Who wrote the soundtrack for the movie? Well, Who worked on the soundtrack? Initially, we planned to uh, have uh, songs by Ukrainian artists and make make a soundtrack entirely that way. Mm -hmm. But then, although Ukrainian music is uh, really high quality. Uh, we decided that this movie needed a composer and it needed uh, uh, music r written specifically mm -hmm. for it, real sci-fi music. Uh -huh. uh, we still kept some of the songs from different Ukrainian bands like Okean Elze, Ruki Bruki and of course TNMK mm -hmm. wrote a new song called Druga Novena that's going to be in the closing titles mm -hmm. of the film. So another reason to see it. Okay, well there are a lot of reasons to see it. Definitely. And the most important question is, what genre do you think the movie is? What, well, what genre would you call it? Yeah, we, what would you classify it? We classify it as a sci-fi film. Uh, because there, there are uh, definitely uh, science fiction elements there. Mm -hmm. uh, with the aliens, with, with the, um, with the um, technological, technological creatures like the Bobots with uh, electric power plants and mm -hmm. defense shields. Mm -hmm. So it, uh, we, did, we, did, uh, we did conceive it as a sci-fi film, but with a lot of heart and uh, as a good sci-fi film, which is based in a real world. So mm -hmm. it's not it's something that really touched us, that the story isn't about outer space, it isn't about, uh, about uh, distant future, it's about our everyday lives and mm -hmm. how how we can look at them differently okay. through this genre conventions of the sci-fi. Well, the movie is about to be screened in Ukraine in less than two weeks, right? Yes. Go watch the movie. Go watch the movie, <laughs> indeed. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much Thank for explaining. Much. It is a very exciting idea. We wish you all the best in your plans for the future. Okay. Thanks again. Thank you very much. That was Valery Simonchuk. He's a film producer. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned with UATV for the rest.